The island of Madagascar lies off the southeast coast of Africa. About 55 million years ago, the ancestor of the lemurs, who are prosimian primates, rafted over the Mozambique Channel on huge mats of vegetation. Because very few other mammals got to Madagascar, the lemurs evolved to fill a wide range of niches. At least 45 species in 20 genera evolved into smaller and larger forms with nocturnal or diurnal, that is, day-living habits. When humans arrived about 1,500 years ago, all the large diurnal lemurs, six genera and 15 species, disappeared. Currently, five families remain, and of these four families, including eight genera and 10 species, are represented in this film. The largest lemurs remaining are in the family Indriidae. These Propithecus are an example of that family. The second family of Lemuridae has four different genera, including these black and white lemur forms. In some species, the sexes are different colors or diachromatic, as in the black lemur, where the males are black, and females are brown with a white ruff and black tail. The possibility that there may be more undiscovered species in the rapidly shrinking rainforest is demonstrated by Hapolemur aureus, the golden bamboo lemur, only discovered in 1987. The third family is the Chirogalidae, which has a number of small nocturnal forms, including the mouse and dwarf lemurs. The fourth family, the Dabentoniidae, is the most unusual, with only one species in the family, the Ii. The habitats in Madagascar are controlled by the rain-bearing winds, which come from the east across the Indian Ocean and hit the mountainous center ridge. The east coast has rainforest, the center is hilly and cleared for agriculture. As you move south and west, the landscape is drier and less fertile, culminating in a desert climate in the southwest with many endemic drought-adapted plants. All of these habitats, except the interior agricultural plateau, support lemurs in varying densities. The rainforest of Perinay on the east side is the home of one of the largest lemurs still existing, the Indri, called the Babakoto in the common language and taxonomically known as Indri Indri. These largest lemurs weigh about six kilograms. They are completely arboreal except for occasional descents to the ground to eat earth, probably for trace elements. Their complex black and white coloration effectively breaks up their outline, so they are remarkably difficult to see in the trees. Prosimians still retain primitive features not found in true monkeys. These include a wet nose like a dog, vibrissae or whiskers around their mouth, less well-developed color vision, and the retention of a few claws on the hind feet, which are used for grooming. Indri are fruit and leaf eaters, the proportions of each depending on whether it is the rainy season or the dry season. They have an enlarged cecum in the gut, which helps to digest the leaves by providing a site for bacterial breakdown of fiber. Indri, like many lemurs, use their hands to pull branches to their mouths and bite off the leaves or fruit, rather than picking it with their hands as monkeys do. In order to do this, they often hold on to a firm support with their hind feet and stretch their bodies out, reaching for new leaves at the ends of branches and revealing their very long legs. These legs are much longer than their arms and a major adaptation for a locomotor pattern found among lemurs but unusual in other mammals called vertical clinging and leaping. In this pattern, the animal clings to a vertical support like a tree trunk and uses its strong hind legs to push its body through the air to the next tree trunk. They can ricochet through the trees at remarkable speed, which enables them to escape terrestrial predators and also birds of prey. Indri are distinguished from other lemurs by their short tails and rounded protruding furry ears. They are diurnal territorial animals who often live in monogamous pairs of male and female with associated young and defend their 17 to 19 hectare territory by vocalizing rather like gibbons although there is no evidence of patrolling the territory boundaries or physically fighting with their neighbors. When feeding, the female and the juvenile often sit above the male in the tree, which may represent the female's ability to control access to resources. Most prosimians utilize scent marking by rubbing their genital regions, urine, saliva, or glandular secretions on the substrate. Indri males who rub the sides of their faces on tree trunks may be marking with saliva. Another prosimian feature is self-grooming using the dental comb, which is a specialized arrangement of the lower incisors and canines, compressed, elongated, and pointing forward. These teeth are stroked through the fur like the teeth of a comb. 
Because families are usually a single pair and the interbirth interval is about two to three years, Indri Young do not usually have any same age playmates, so occasionally they can induce one of their parents to wrestle and grapple with them in the trees. This juvenile is probably about two years old. They breed seasonally and usually have the young in May after a four to five month gestation. The infants are carried dorsally until four months of age and then begin to locomote on their own, a process which is usually complete by about eight months. They are usually fully weaned by about a year. There is some controversy about female age of sexual maturity with estimates ranging from age four to eight years. Although Indri defend their resources from conspecifics, they must compete with a range of other lemur species for food in the forest. Among the most common of its competitors is the brown lemur, Eulemur fulvus. It is a smaller animal, but they tend to live in larger groups of between three and 12 individuals. They usually run along branches with great speed and vocalize loudly while flapping their tails when annoyed. In this case, a group of browns was contesting the Indri's utilization of fruit in a large tree. At first, the smaller browns startled the Indri into giving up its position. But the Indri, being three times larger, soon reasserts its right to the food source. The Indri of Perinae are one of the rarest and most fascinating species of this whole superfamily of animals. It also has one of the most amazing vocalizations. There are seven subspecies of brown lemur, Eulemur fulvus, and this is the red-fronted Eulemur fulvus rufus. They are diachromatic. The female is quite brownish with a black head cap and white above her eyes, while the male is grayer with an orange head cap and white cheeks. They can vertically leap through trees as well as locomote easily on the ground. They are also extremely agile quadrupeds in trees, running along branches and leaping to the next tree. Eulemur fulvus fulvus is another subspecies in which the female has an all-brown face. These are the type which were seen harassing the injury in Perinae Reserve. They also flap their tails and vocalize at other disruptions, such as predators or humans who get too close to them because they are still hunted, although it is illegal. They are active day and night, or DL, eating leaves, buds, flowers, and fruit and living in groups of three to 12. They often do well in secondary forests, unlike some subspecies who prefer undisturbed forests. The male of the fulvus fulvus subspecies seen here is grayish with a black head cap and cream colored cheek patches. As with most lemurs, they scent mark often rubbing their lips and cheeks on tree trunks or backing up to the tree trunk and rubbing it with their anal glands. Brown lemurs also have dental combs made up of their lower incisors and canines which they use to groom themselves with rapid repeated movements of the head. You can see that attempting to take observations on a two to four kilogram animal living high in the dense forest cover can be quite difficult. It is sometimes hard to tell exactly what they are doing, even if you can see them fairly well. They are quite flexible and use their teeth to groom arms, legs, belly, flanks, and tail. You can also use their back feet.